Hello, I'm Amber Uper, and this video is a model kit review. And uh, the, the model that I'm going to review for this video is the Revell 172nd scale SPAD 13C1. Um, I think these are, are a new uh, reissue, I guess you'd say, of the old Revell kits from the 70s. I believe this is a brand new kit. I just bought it um, a few days ago at the ho at the local hobby shop. Uh, so now this one, uh, I had already started it before I decided to do the kit. So I, you know, everything's out of the bags and everything. Uh, so let's see. I had opened this end. Now these are uh, are uh, opened like this, and the uh, the other end is still sealed here. It's just got those, like, tape, the round tape tab things to hold it closed. It works. So, let's, uh, let's take a look here. We'll pour the parts and the instructions out and see what we get. All right. Now, like I said, I had already started working on it, so none of these parts and stuff are in the, uh, in the bag. Uh, let's see what we got. Well, here, let's look at the decals first. So here's your decals. Now this says uh, copyright 2009 Ravel. Um, printed in Italy for Ravel Gumbach and Company. Uh, let's see. So that's you know, yeah, your basic British um, World War One decals. <clears throat> so we'll put that up there. Yeah, it comes with this little sheet of uh, thin paper that covers them. Keeps them from getting scuffed up. All right, so now we'll get this with it. And let's see, what is this? This is all safety advice. Okay. Huh, just your basic warnings. Don't sniff the glue, that kind of stuff. All right, so then we have this. Here's model instructions. This side of the sheet is your paint colors. There's a couple in here, like this one here, that is a mixture of two different colors, but, uh, you know, how you choose to do it is up to you. So here's your basic uh, building instructions. There's really not much to this, is this plain as you can see. And here's your two uh, basic sprues of parts. I mean, it's a 140, I mean, 170 second scale plane, so there's just you know, the, the level of detail can only be so good. It's just too small. And then here's your painting instructions, or, or your painting, suggested painting scheme for this plane. This one is a SPAD 13, flown by Captain William M. Fry, number 23 squadron, Royal Flying Corps, January 1918. So that's this, that's the, this paint scheme. So let's see what's on the other one here. Ah, here's the uh, the basic. You know, the way they fold these is weird. There we go. <laughs> okay. So this is your history and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Two different languages here. And then uh, the back is blank. And then you open it up on the inside and it's just more information. Read before you start. And it's basic information. You know, basic um, suggestions on how to do, how to take the parts off this sprue and how to paint them and all that. So that's, that's about all there is to this one. <coughs> So let's take a quick look at the parts here. I started on it. This is the, uh, uh, that's the upper wing. This is the lower. You can see the lower wing's got the body piece there. I, I um, painted these with um, flat gray primer uh, because uh, it goes better. It's easier to cover that with the, uh, the color that's it's like a bluish gray that's got a, that's supposed to go on the bottom of these. So this is the upper wing. That's the top side. This is the top side of the lower wing. 
what I did with these was I sprayed them with uh, Tester's um, dull coat so that it, because I'm going to use this as the as the base color, because tan is part of the uh, part of the painting scheme, as you can see. So I'll just use this as the base coat, and in order to kill the uh, plastic look, I, pa I painted it with um, dull coat. So there's your wings. Here's the tail wing, and there's the underside. Here's the body halves. <laughs> There's the top. See, uh, the bottom has been sprayed with the... Uh, I didn't mind a little overspray because I'm going to have to paint that anyway. Paint the upper body with the camouflage colors. So that works out. <clears throat> the body seems to go together pretty well. I mean, there's no uh, big gaps or anything in it. It looks pretty good. It's something that can be a little bit of gap here, but that can be taken care of. So, yeah, not bad. And then uh, here's one of the sprues. Here's your uh, vertical tail surface, the wheel uh, uh, No, that's not the landing gear. Here's the lamp piece that goes between them. Um, mufflers, wing struts, let's see, those are just wheel covers. Yeah, here's your landing gear right here. I think those might be braces for, but there's that, and then and this one, this is where the wings and stuff were. I think the body was in here. Uh, you got, a, you actually get a pilot with this, and the propeller, and the engine front cowl, and the top of the, uh, of the fuselage here goes on like that, and that's well, no, it goes on like this, and that's got your two machine guns in here like this. Well, that that fits in there like that. So that's really all there is to these little um, 172nd scale World War One uh, biplanes. But they're neat. I mean, you can get larger scale models, 148, 132nd scale of these. But they're a lot bigger, and they take up a lot more space if you have limited shelf space to display them. And since I uh, am going to build several different uh, uh, World War One biplanes, I would like to have shelf space for them. So that's uh, that's my review of uh, the Ravel uh, One Seventy Second Scale uh, Spad Thirteen C One. Thanks for watching.